Alright. So this is TVR episode 2. Hunterville. Uh, TVR, if you're unsure what that means, it's a stream I'm doing once a month where I go through and replay all the old Starville competitions. So we did, last month we did Sniperville, the very first competition. This month we're doing Hunterville. Uh, the aim of this competition was to create a level in which uh, the mapper had to use hunters. Funnily enough, it's crazy how that happens, right? Uh, this one received a lot of entries. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 maps to play through, so it's going to be quite a long stream, I think. <laughs> so we're going to get started here. Uh, it will be interesting to see how these maps are, because in Sniperville I felt like a lot of authors kind of really kind of laser focused on the sniper aspect and in fact one of the best levels in the pack was something that was a very rounded Half-Life 2 experience that just happened to have snipers in it as well. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. Go this way. Is the stream on? What's going on here? Sorry, I just have to check this because I'm just seeing a black screen and it's freaking me out. Ah, there we go. Okay, never mind. It works. Everything is fine. Ah, I see you up there. <laughs> okay, can't open this just yet. I probably have to find a crowbar or something. Aha! Nice. Okay, and now we can... I was hoping there'd be like a crowbar in here or something. What was this? Huh? Okay. Ah, there it is. Nice. I like that it's actually somewhere interesting in the world. It's not just laying on a table for you to pick up. It's uh, That's cool. Now we can open this padlock. Oh, I know that sound. Let's close all the doors behind us. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Ah, what was I just saying about weapons not just lying in front of you? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm bad. Could we break this? Ah, you see that's kind of annoying. This glass should be breakable. There's a very special, specific texture for unbreakable glass in Half-Life. This is not it. I can still hear those things behind me. Holy... <laughs> okay. Everything died. health back here. Ah, we can get in here now. Nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, that whirring sound. <laughs> Alright. We're not doing so bad, we've got some health and armor now. I just heard a hunter. I wonder if he's out there. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I think this loops back to where we were before, yeah. Okay. Not sure how useful that loop is, but uh, maybe it'll come in useful later on. Holy! That's a lot of dudes! work. <laughs> that was a pretty brutal ambush. That was really sneaky because you run in here to get the uh, to get the armor replenisher, and they will just come in behind you and just take away everything you've just picked up. Oh, I hate these things so much! Please go away. Oh, there they are. What? Okay, this is not... <laughs> that's not a good start to the level. I guess I'm just going to go in there and kill them all. So yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it must have been a glitch. I don't think this door was going to be open, perhaps. Yeah, it's just a giant clip rush here, from what I can tell. Let's see. No. Okay, I guess it's just busted. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, a gravity gun. Cool. A sniper. I know that sound. God damn it. Okay, that didn't quite work. That's what we got here. Oh, 
Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> Neon lights. Don't see that very often. Is there a button here I can use or something? It seems strange to have this whole area up here with a lift and everything, but nothing to actually do. Very strange. What? Really? <laughs> that was an anticlimax. <laughs> okay, so, so the map started off quite well, I thought. And then uh, it was a shame about the bugs with the hunters. That would have been an interesting fight otherwise. And yeah, then it just kind of peters out at the end, unfortunately. So, entry two is called Lobster. Okay. Let's start with the gravity gun. Oh yeah. Can we take this? Ah, it's a shame we can't take that one off because there's a another crank candle point here. If that if this is just used for decoration, I don't really like that. Okay, so we've got Strider. Okay. Oh no, not more of these things. Please. Holy, okay. What did that do? Ah, uh, open this up, okay. Okay, we've got a guy on a in-place weapon down there. And no cover. Let's improvise. Wow, this is super effective. <laughs> oh god damn it, really? Okay, I like the way they tease the hunters, that's cool. I have a magnum. 
Wow, well, that was the worst grenade I think I've ever done. It's all kicking off now. What did that do? Crossbow. And nothing to shoot from the sniper vantage point. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I do like the the way the levels interconnecting is nice. Kill him with his own stuff. Nope. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. I don't think I've even got the achievement yet. Okay, I've got some dudes. I don't think I've been this way yet. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to find another barrel. <laughs> oh, I could have used that. Here we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. I feel like you remember in Skyrim where you could just put a bowl over the shopkeeper's head and then steal everything in the shop because he couldn't see you? <laughs> I'm getting that same vibe here with this. <laughs> yeah, Lance, I like this map so far. It teased the hunters early on, which I like. Uh, it's got a fairly interesting layout. Let's see what we can blow up with this. Ow. Haha. <laughs> That's cool. Oh god. It's my worst nightmare. You can't see me! that do? Did it open that door there perhaps? I think each of these panels I've hit have turned these lights green but perhaps not communicated as well as it could have been. Through here, can we? Nope. 
I'm guessing we have to go back out in the courtyard then and uh, there should be another door opened up. Or not. Unless there's a button here somewhere. Ah yeah, okay. Oh, there's a force field there. Shit. grenades in there. Oh, I've got a crossbow, haven't I? <laughs> that would make things easier. Yeah, I, li I like the arena fight here, that was cool. I like the use of the citadel here as well, that's great. Damn it, I was trying to go up there. <laughs> hey, what's up, David? What's up, chat? Sorry, I am reading chat, so if you've got any questions or comments, do type it, I will read it. Yeah, I like that level a lot. That was cool. I kind of figured we'd be fighting a Strider at one point. Kind of hinted at the very beginning. The uh, Strider flew overhead on the uh, on the uh, dropship, and you saw it moving around in the streets afterwards. Okay, I guess this level isn't going back to the main menu. So, so that was Lobster. That was cool. Now Hunter Mountain. All right. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Pretty basic visually. Let's see what we've got here. We've got beer and a crowbar. What more can you want? all this stuff for? Hmm, okay. Is there something up here? Yeah, Twitch, uh, Twitch has been a bit odd today. Let's blame League of Legends once again. I can't check right now, but I'm betting there's a, a League of Legends tournament going on right now or something. <laughs> ah, we can climb. Okay, we can climb up. Okay. 
Now this pile of gear here starts to make more sense. <laughs> It's a physics stacking puzzle. Forty years of game design and it's come down to this. <laughs> there we go. Oh please no. Come on, please. God damn it, Half-Life. Why? Okay. Valve, if you're watching, Half-Life 3, let's weld objects together with a gravity gun so we can <laughs> we can fix this stuff. Okay. A crossbow. Okay, I was expecting a way forward up here, but uh um okay. No, you haven't missed anything yet, Lance. I'm still trying to work out how to uh, how to proceed. I thought it would be up here, but apparently no. Let's see. Oh my God, there's too many physics props around here. Just there's nothing in that corner. There's like a hole. God damn it! There's a bloody hole in the floor right here. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we found a crossbow. <gasps> Watermelons. God damn. <laughs> some guns. Sounds like the hunters are that way but I want to explore around here a bit first. Holy... Okay that kind of sucks. Alright. More grenades, excellent. I don't mind the stuff exploding around you, but it's when it hurts you without any warning, that's when you have to kind of draw a line and say, yeah, that's not very good. Ooh, a rocket launcher. Okay, now we're talking. And the gravity... Holy shit, this is like the best secret in the whole game right here. <laughs> a rocket launcher and a gravity gun. Jackpot. You remember when they first demoed Half-Life 2 at, uh, was it E3? Back in like 2003, whenever it was? And they, they shot the watermelon and it exploded into pieces and everyone went, <gasps> <laughs> That's one of those moments that you don't forget for a while. Alright. One guy left, where are you? Oh, okay, never mind. Sound like there's one left. Oh, there. There must be like no node graph in this map or something, because the enemies just sit there, they don't attack or anything. 
Unless they're scripted to just stand there, but I don't understand why you'd do that. What's going to happen here then? Hiding behind a tree, okay. That's a new one. That was not very good. I don't think this is a very good design because the hunters just kind of keep you in here. They're forcing you to just kind of peek out every now and then, which isn't really that much fun. Oh yeah. I think there's too many uh, obstacles, like trees and stuff. The hunters can't really move around and they're not really a threat when there's uh, a lot of cover like this. The end. <laughs> yeah, David, the fizz props did get in the way quite a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. Whenever I see a watermelon, I just have to grab it with the gravity gun, throw it against the wall, but they exploded before I even got there, god damn it. <laughs> Alright. Next one is greenhouse hunting. Okay, we got some stuff. Gravity gun, excellent. Okay, that's obviously where we came in. I mean, it's just a small thing, but I always say this, like, if you're starting the player off with a whole bunch of equipment, just let them pick it up. Like, even something as simple as removing this obstacle, having, you know, a charger or another car back here, with, like, the weapons laid out across it, so you can just pick them all up and then go. I think it just feels so much better than just starting with a whole bunch of stuff, sometimes not even realising it. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Eh. I've sometimes played through maps like all the way through without really like without realizing I even had a gravity gun because it gives you it right at the start. Doesn't tell you. Quite sure how turning the power off helps me. I'm waiting for a map with a gnome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so can I just shoot one of these and it'll burn? Nope. Thank you. 
Why is that the music? Oh, okay. So this was confusing because typically when you open one of these fuse boxes in Half-Life 2 you just have to use it one time and then it activates everything. With this you have to press it after it's been opened. Which is really confusing because you never have to do that usually. So that makes sense now because it sparks when you use it which ignites the uh, fuel over here. Shit, what up at the gnome? Panic? Oh no, here we are. Okay, where we are. Uh -huh. You know what this reminds me of? Wasn't there a level in uh, Call of Duty 4? It was like a uh, giant greenhouse like this, a helicopter flying overhead, like shining a searchlight at you. I seem to remember a level like that. Where do we go now? Oh god. Come back! Aha, can I... Can I fit through here? Definitely not in here. Doesn't look like you're meant to get outside of this greenhouse, but I don't see anything to actually do in here. Unless this is the end of the map. <laughs> There's another possibility. Pretty sure I'm not going to get outside here. Looks like there's another greenhouse that side, so I'm thinking there's got to be a way through either here or this rubble, but I'm not seeing it. I'm going to look around for another minute or two if I can't find anything then we'll just go to the next map because we've got a lot of levels to get through but yeah I can't see anything to do in this area which is that's the problem like there was just a fight there's nothing nothing that really stands out
believe all that is clipped off anyway, so... Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think I'll give up on this one. Uh, it's just really confusing. I can't see anything to do, so... Either the map ends here and it just hasn't been uh, scripted to go back to the main menu, or there is a way forwards and I just cannot find it, so... GG? Hey, what's up, Pathogen? Let's go on to the next map. Combine Den. Ooh. Holy shit, okay. Oh, I think I remember this level actually when I first played this. That's one hell of a view though. Alright. Let's see here. Ah, uh, run around. What have I got? Pistol. That's it. Pistol and... Can't use that. Oh god, it's a nightmare. Okay, can I use this? No. Oh god. Uh, can I get in here? No. Can't get it. Oh god, I'm dead. Okay, let's try this again. There's obviously something I haven't seen. It's not as simple as this is a lift, is it? <laughs> you can't kill these, can you? Aha! Anyone else? <laughs> oh, there's one more over there. Come and get it. Ah, okay, so that's what I had to do. Nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! Ah, that's cool. Alright. been given the middle finger. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Holy shit, okay. okay I've got a console over there. A 
it's probably going to do something. Got a lift. Oh, okay. Now I want to go back and hit the console. <laughs> Never mind. No, I don't. I want to collect everything in here. Fun. Are these guys just going to keep on coming? I guess they are. I like the beams there, that's cool. Go and hit that button upstairs, see what that does. Oh. Unless I'm not. It's a shame you can't go back up the lift. I'm really interested what that button did up there. Oh well. Ah. Oh. Ah, we got one of these. Run. Haha, <laughs> that was cool. Damn it, get in there. I really want a gravity gun right now. Yeah, so that's cool. You can push enemies into that and it kills everything around here as well. I like it. I had no idea the energy ball station shot the man hacks. I don't know if that's behaviour from Half-Life 2 or if it's just new behaviour for this map, but I think it's cool nonetheless. It was a nice way of showing it as well, having it electrocute the uh, Combine Soldier as you went. Oh shit. What's up, buddy? All the combined architecture stuff is really well done. Ow!
Damn, that was a good grenade. Yeah, so a lot of the combined stuff in here is new, but it feels completely natural. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we need to... I think this could be a grenade bounce situation. Let's see. God damn it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Beautiful. for shit today. idea what that button did. Okay. Oh, maybe that's another thing that can just kill all the combined soldiers around it. Oh, back outside. How's that for a loop? Oh no, I've got these bloody things again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did that just happen? Oh god. Hey, what's up, Neki? Oh, please tell me there's an auto save. Oh, thank god. I really want to continue playing this map, but if there's no auto save, then uh, I'll just kill it. <laughs> okay, pro strats, don't get knocked off the edge.
come here. Should be a sky dome bill, yeah. This sky dome is pretty damn nice. So we're going through the level again. Interesting. <laughs> I can find out what this button does up here now, maybe. Here, I wonder. Ah, it's the electricity thing in the jiggy. More recharge already. Ah, oh, too late. So that didn't... What does it do? If it doesn't hurt enemies... Okay, I've got 34 bullets. That's probably not enough. Sweet shotgun ammo. The end is near, apparently.
more ammo. Another one somewhere. Oh, wow. this do? Okay, something powered up. Kill twelve hunters. Let's go again, I guess. as well. Ah, it's more AR2 ammo. Excellent. I do like the fact that you have to keep running around to pick up supplies. That's very nice. Okay, I've got three grenades. Programmer speak. What? He got dead. Two hunters. Run. Halfway height. Low on ammo. There we go.
Oh, I've got no grenades. Thought I still had some. things die. Yeah, that was pretty close. <laughs> okay, that was really cool. did it. Where are we going? Help! Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, it was a bit confusing at the very start. It wasn't very clear that you had to kill all the um, uh, 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 roller balls before you could proceed. Uh, but the everything after that was great. Perhaps the final fight went on a bit too long. It was like you killed a whole bunch of hunters, then suddenly you had to kill 12 more, and nothing had really changed in the arena. It just felt like a rehash. But it, it was. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Definitely my favourite map so far. <laughs> Which one was that? That was yeah, Combine Den. That was very cool. All right, now we got Venatical. All right. The door magically opens. Go ahead. What's up, Mr. Metrocop? And it's your compliance in the full up. Ah, the classic man crushed under door. <laughs> I think ever since Unreal, that's just been a staple of every single FPS ever. <laughs> Going up. Research Arena 1. Give. Okay, we've got some guns. Survive all five arenas and you can earn your freedom. Should we start? It's very portal like, isn't it? <laughs> Except with combat. Um. Oh, okay. Damn it. A wheelbarrow. The most devastating weapon. Okay, I've 
got some more guns. The water in Arenas 2 is hazardous. Good to know. problem. Suddenly the running man, yeah. <laughs> I need to watch that film again, I haven't seen it for like 10 years or something. Alright, what do we got? Did it. <laughs> There's a nice variety of combat at least. Loading. Launch a hype. Blue battery hype. Unlimited sprint plus oxygen. Okay, cool. An underwater arena. Okay. There's something down here. Can I kill him yet? Here we go. Oh, I can't shoot on the... Okay, of course. Okay, now these barrels make sense. Okay, no they don't. Can't throw grenades up the water either, apparently. Wait, is this for real? There's pro strats. Yeah. Okay, that was the worst. Ow. 
now that all the barrels have been cleared, I guess I can just fly up here and uh Do that. How do we get out of here? Yeah, I'm not too sure about this arena. It's uh another interesting concept, but it's just not very fun. Alright. AR2 and some grenades. I mean, a map like this is all about the arena design, and so far they've been pretty varied and interesting. Suddenly Ravenholm. Oh, that grenade. The money shot. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. Ah, cars. Okay. This just got easier. Okay, maybe not. Figured that. What the? What the hell just happened? What the? We did it. Why do I have the feeling I'm about to get screwed? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what bounced me back along the level. That was pretty strange. shot with the crossbow. Oh man, this is, this is a grim scene right here. <laughs> I wonder if it's probably better off in that arena to just leave the uh, leave the zombies alive. Probably be best. Are you on some? Huh? things. Alright. I've got some ammo at least.
All right. So I guess we do get to kill all the uh, Metro Cops behind the glass. Crap. So I swear there was something behind that table. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I might actually die here. Never mind. <laughs> Money grenade right there. This level turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it would be. It's pretty fun though. Gravity gun down there. Some of these health charges are like made for people twelve feet tall. <laughs> okay, we've got a gravity gun. Super gravity gun. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Uh oh. That's a lot of hunters. <laughs> Why isn't it working anymore? Okay, this is really bad. Um, I don't understand how some of them take like four hits and some of them take one. Eighteen health. Okay. Oh god. Where's all the health? One. Jesus, okay. So this is the only health in the whole arena right here, and it's a health charger that you're going to have no chance of using once this many hunters get put in. That's crazy. I don't understand this gravity gun either. What the? Really? Found the pro strat apparently. <laughs> we 
We did it. That final arena. That final arena was pretty nuts. All right, now we've got Outlands entry number seven. Dear, dear, let me see now. Okay. It's sleep time, okay. Okay, got some ammo, nice. Jenny. <laughs> what way to die? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, oh, come on, I gotta. There we go. That's a bit more dignified. If only a little. <laughs> Alright. Oh, looks like we need another. Right, okay. What the? God damn it, where's that tree trunk gone? You're really blocked in here, which is kind of annoying. Some more guns at least. Uh. Okay, I thought that was going to blow up all the barrels, but why can't you pick these up? That's really weird. Oh, do I need to find a crank handle somewhere? I think I saw. We're we'll leading here. There it is. Okay, wrong. It's weird that you can't pick those up. Excuse me. Oh shit, I might actually die. In fact, I think I will die. Mm. Yeah, that's... Uh, not enough room to move around. You just kind of get... piled on. Oh, I don't even need to kill these guys. Oh, never mind then. Tell me you can't fall down here. Good. Oh, 
interesting. Oh, thought it fell. Okay, pre-rip. They shot the thing to stop it coming down. Ow. Okay, let's try it again now. I like the idea because it forces you to deal with the enemies before moving on, like that last arena. As soon as the door opened, I was out. <laughs> Game just freeze. Huh. Whoa. Okay, so they're all in the boxes. Damn it. Where'd you go? Ah. Oh. Again, it's very awkward to move around because there's not enough room. Got him. Yeah, I'm kind of getting an <laughs> underground secret base, like James Bond kind of vibe from this level now. Can I press this? Guess not. Oh, what was that? Oh, was that just... this thing. Help! Half-Life Ladders! Okay. Nice. A giant laser in a secret underground base. There's a lot of boxes here. <laughs> I'll keep my keep my girder handy.
I don't... Do I have to like reload it? Yes, I do. What? What? <laughs> There's some weird bugs in this game, man. <laughs> Why? Oh shit, I'm alive. I am... No idea why that just happened. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Good auto saves. Always a nice thing to test. <clears throat> okay, we've done that. I've never, I've never experienced these bugs before. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. It's very strange. Jesus. Ah, okay. I see. Just waiting for all these boxes to break open. I guess we just need to do that two more times. Please, ladder, please. Here we go. Okay! Have a box. Have another box. Those boxes are super effective, apparently. Oh god, don't drop it. I guess if you drop it down the chasm you just have to... What the... Okay. Jesus. Why are these boxes not as effective as the other ones? Start that going while we deal with this. Where's the other one? Ah, cheeky. I got any grenades? No. Nope. Yeah, you're right, Lance. It is really quiet in here. Some, uh, it's annoying because there's some really great kind of underground chasm uh, soundscapes in Half-Life 2, which are really easy to put in maps. Hi. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me it saves after each one. Okay, good, it does. I got a map. 
Magnum. No. Boxes. Oh no, here we go. Ah, really? Come on. I don't get it. I killed a hunter with two box shots, and some of them take like four or five. Uh oh. I wonder. Save. Crap. Let's load. <laughs> if this works. Nope. Okay, well, I'll take it. Yoink! Come on. Now we just hide here. Simple. God damn it. Uh oh, that's a really bad auto save. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I literally can't move when I die every time. Let's see. What the fuck? Okay, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna god mode the rest of this level. See you later, fellas. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate auto save right there. <laughs> I think you can protect against that. I think there's a setting you can add to the trigger autosave that says if the player is below X health you know don't autosave so there's probably a little bit of protection you can build into your map for cases like that but yeah uh, I thought that the end part the explanation of the laser gun was really cool because it fired once and then it like ejected all the cores so you kind of knew that you had to put new ones in but yeah, the actual fighting with the hunters just wasn't that fun, which is why I wanted to just god mode through it. Just to get to the next one. Okay, there's a level called Dave. That's like the best level name ever, so we're going to have to play it. Alright. What other guns have we got? Alright Dave, let's see what you've got. The slowest lift in all eternity. Come on Dave. Really? Thank you, Dave.
straight to business then. <laughs> There's even arrows telling me where to go. Wow. What's up? Because I don't have a crowbar, I have to shoot the boxes. That's, yeah. Always give the player a crowbar. So, someone's trying to shoot me. Ah! Yeah, it's kind of annoying because I haven't really got any long range weapons. I don't have a gravity gun to use these very well. What's next? Didn't I put an explosive barrel right there? Am I an idiot? Where did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. We've got A and Grenade. Barry and Tom are just sitting there. Thanks, guys. More stuff. Work, Barry. Oh, you're not Tom. The wrong gender. Hey, over here. Well, I should be more inclusive. You could be Tom. That's fine. I 
really wish I had a crossbow. I really wish I had one. Even a magnet would be lovely. We got the defective hunter right here that just runs into walls. GG. Any crowbars up there? No? Okay. What's this about? Okay. Any man's coming this way? Dead. And I'm out of shotgun. Oh hey, there's a I did not even see this. Oh my god, there's a magnum right here. God damn it. How did I miss this? get obliterated. They're not happy about me shutting off that steam pipe. <laughs> uh, okay, I was about to jump in there thinking that was the way to go. Pretty glad I didn't now. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I, th I think the arena was just too large, not enough cover in it, and the weapon selection wasn't great, although part of that was my fault. Alright, now we've got Industrial Distress. Hooray, a crowbar!
Oh god. The zombies. Okay, we've got some batteries, that's probably important. Can't go outside. What? And we've got some hunters. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> 